This is Gavarok Fevenor welcoming you to Let's Play Spelunky with good quality this time because my guest is in the room with me. Nancy Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra, who's also known as my very weird cousin who's actually male, as far as we know, but we're not going to test that out. Thank you very, very, very you can much. You can put the webcam on, that can have that a look. No, 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 no. Right, well, uh, awkward silences aside, let's play some Spelunky. No, 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 what, don't, don't, don't. I'd get that gem now. Ooh, gem. And it's I'm going outrageous to get arrow. Truly what? outrageous. Truly. Smack. Don't take smack, man. I'm your family. I don't want you to take smack. Seriously. What? Don't take smack. Okay, I'm not gonna... T I'm being serious here. LP aside. I will throw this woman at you. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't complain, would you? I won't throw this woman at you then. What are you doing with her then? Keeping her for myself. You know, that was a bit of a Gremlins 2 moment. And that's a reference you also want to get. I have actually seen Gremlins, I just haven't seen the second one because... So you haven't seen the good one? Isn't it usually the opposite? Well, see, I'm kind of different. I like Back to the Future 2 better than Back to the Future 1. I like Temple of Doom better than the Raiders. I thought you said that was the... Or di what? Everyone says Temple of Doom sucks. Well, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg say Temple of Doom sucks. But Temple of Doom is freaking awesome. Yes, it is. But I thought you said you didn't like it before. Only not while recording. So you, these viewers won't get a word of what we're saying because... Well you, <laughs> well, you scrapped our last recording, which was so awesome. I didn't scrap it. We're doing a second one. No, no, no. The, the one before that. Oh. We did a recording where I screwed up and it lasted five seconds and he thinks it's fantastic and I'm dead again. It was your best LP ever. I'm surprised I actually call this Let's Play. I should technically call it Let's Fail, but because... Yeah, let's run into things. Let's get cavemaned. Let's get dangerous. Dark let's window. get shot in the face. That's what she said. You, you've never watched Necroscope, have you? Who? A thousand viewers just laugh their asses off. Well, not a thousand, I don't get that many, but many, many viewers just laugh their asses off. Sorry, I, I follow LP where it originated, I'm sorry. Something awful... Right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I knew, do know that I was trying to make a joke about it being awful, but I couldn't because my mind went blank. and It's because I'm in close proximity to someone who has... Even, you know, when he first even nerdier LP, than me. When he first started LP, he was like, "You know, I'm thinking of doing LP. You got any tips?" And I was like, "Yeah, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do this." He didn't listen to a word I said. I yes, I did. Yeah, you listened to it and willfully ignored it. But what did I ignore? What did I do that you didn't want me to do? Apart from singing, a well, lot. Frankly, we in the family sing. It's kind of what we do. Yes, it is! Oh, yes, it is. Should we do the Splunky musical? Oh, you're just Splunked all over the ground. And your Splunk is red, which you maybe should see a doctor about. It's called blood. Let's play Splunky. Bat is going to rape me in the brain. Which is a good place for it, because it's soft and squishy. Thank you for that lovely image. Well, you know, bats have got ears, and they kind of... Well, yeah, you can kind of get to it easily. Feel free to picture that... As so long as it's not a bat man. Well, he's at home watching his tights. You should have heard the rant my dear cousin went into when I mentioned Batman and Robin. Yeah. Remembering you're not allowed to swear. What? This is, this is like when I was on radio, where I was like... You can't say ass, and I said my Nintendo 64 kicked ass, and I got kicked off work experience radio. That was awful. Is but, that how you lost the job? Well, I didn't lose the job, but they were like, they, the, the police guy who worked, who actually run the radio station, was like, we, we got a few complaints from an old lady. <laughs> and I'm sure the old ladies rang up a few times, hence the, they were like, a few complaints from an old lady. It's like, your, Ninten your Nintendo 64 is good. 
And the thing is, in retrospect, my Nintendo 64 wasn't that great. So, you know, I kind of regret saying it, but not because I offended an old lady. But mm. anyway, Batman and Robin is an awful film, and you all know this. But what people don't seem to notice, I'll bring up, and I've seen plenty of Batman and Robin reviews while he robs this bank. You know... Jesus Christ, mate! Overkill! Boom! Headshot. Is he gonna stop? <laughs> not if I, not if I have any say that. Boom. You know, Ooh. there is such a thing as ammo. Oh, oh, oh. Dead or alive, you are coming with me. I'm pretty sure it's dead. <laughs> Your move, Gav. I'll make references to the people. Shall we do some ouch? What's an ouch? I've showed you ouch. In fact, the viewers have seen ouch too, but let's do some ouch. Oh, ouch. Yes, it's not as it's not as bad as in when I played Junior Jeopardy with Kiko and Rizolka, and she said that she wanted to do some hot stuff, because there was a category called hot stuff. I need to meet this chick. <laughs> right, sure. Um, <laughs> Baby, this is evening. What? I want to meet this chick who does the hot stuff, baby, this evening. Oh, Christ. <laughs> okay, great. You know, he's not singing. He's... he's, he's I'm doing... Um, what was Dr. Doolittle's name? Uh, Eddie Murphy. No, not that <laughs> Dr. Doolittle, you young <laughs> bastard. But you, you, shut up. He was the guy in My Fair Lady. I may be a bastard, but I'm not... Y oh, wait, no, that's the wrong way around. No, it sounds about right. Excuse me for a second, I need to kill someone. Who? My mum's in the other room. You, can go, you can't kill her. Well, okay. well she is annoying. <laughs> well, well now, now you know where we get it from. Yes, yes, actually. No, you're right, right. Things like this, viewers, you have to go to the source. You don't kill the one who suffered from... You go right. Ah! What the bloody hell? Are there boobs bouncing? Look, I have to go to all this effort to make innuendo with the chick who you whip. But they put a bouncing boob walrus blonde chick in the game. I mean, he spent... And you have to realise, I mean, I don't know, did just one guy make this? Yes. So this one guy decided to spend time animating the breasts of a walrus woman. Yes. This is how he chose to spend his time. Indeed, yes. Now, this is why I long for the days of NetHack, where stuff like this would be represented by a hash. Because, you know, we could pretend that the bouncing boobs are of some, like, mermaid, not a walrus. You know, most people would just ask how the hell this happened. Not analyse... The Her walrus. boobs are bouncing! I noticed that, but most people just tend to, you know, ignore it. How can you... They're right there! They're bouncing! Are you... Oh, look. I'm from a generation that when Chun-Li did her spinning bird kick, you paused the game continually to see if you could see up her skirt. This is what we did. Ah. No, it's true. We didn't have any Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball back then. Not that I've played that. Oh my god, he's got all the achievements. Um... What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. He's talking about himself now. <laughs> yeah, you're the one with the Itagaki poster. With the what? I, I, look, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> there are people out there who get that joke, and they may not be laughing, but they might be nodding their heads slightly. I bet you I'll get comments from people agreeing with you. Now, you can avoid the boulder dropping down if you blow up the altar, then grab the idol, and then, if there's a snake nearby, do this. If only Indiana Jones ah. was known. Indiana Jones was an idiot. He made a fourth movie, and, well, hmm. Look, I would be sad if Shia LaBeouf was my kid. <laughs> ending up with Karen Allen ain't so bad. I mean, all the blondes in this game are that whiny chick from Temple of Doom, and as much as I love that movie, that chick was awful. It's no wonder she ended up marrying Steven Spielberg. I mean, and Steven Spielberg has lost his touch. And I blame it on that woman. It's like when James Cameron broke up with his wife. He co-wrote all the original movies, and suddenly, you know, his movies weren't as good. True. And I love Terminator 2, but, you know, 
it didn't have the strong female stuff. It was a actually that's that's wrong. Uh, Terminator Two didn't have the strong female stuff. Well, let's compare the Sarah Connor of Terminator <laughs> to the Sarah Connor of Terminator Two. Uh, let's see, Mental Asylum, yeah, she, Packing order, Heat. <laughs> in order to become tough, she had to become manly. That's a great role model. Yeah. Yeah, she had to basically strip herself of femininity to become tough. And I granted that's probably in with the plot. I'm just saying that aliens did the tough chick better. You really are distracting him. No, I saw you playing earlier when I wasn't talking. You were this bad. Thank you so much. But you were still there when... I wasn't saying anything. Am I saying... Are you saying that I'm distracting you by my very existence? Well, you are pretty damn ugly. And at that I say fairly well...